So there was another story that I saw today about this secret anti-bullying campaign emoji. It's like a, a, a speech bubble with an eye in it. Uh, you, if you scroll through, you can see it's by the clock. Um, so do you know anything about that emoji? Yeah. Um, so that's an interesting one because we've been sort of, there's been banter for the last few months when it first shoot, showed up in the beta as to what exactly that was going to be. Uh, and of course, someone today on Twitter noted, oh, well, if you have text to speech, read it out and you say, oh, read this emoji. It says, you know, I with uh, in speech bubble for anti-harassment campaign. Uh, I don't know what the anti-harassment campaign is. I haven't been able to to find out that logo and, and where it goes. Uh, but I think it's really I, I think it's a it's a neat uh, it's, it's a neat addition to the emoji spectrum. It's it's in line with Apple's ability to, you know, they, they're really reaching out to the community in terms of the causes that they believe in and the causes that they think are important. And very much, you know, not bullying folks online. I think that's that's something that everybody should stand for, but I, I appreciate that Apple is uh, taking a stand here. Also, I think it's a funny, you know, anti-bullying aside, it is a funny reference to iMessage because it is literally an I in the message bubble. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I mean, I think just recently some uh, people have come out and, and, and some corporations, it's a, this campaign, uh, this witness campaign, which is uh, just, you know, instead of just sitting by, say something um, and and maybe you can use the emoji because I do, I do think that's a huge problem, not necessarily bullying uh, but just standing by when, you know, and not saying anything, which is difficult to say something in a lot of situations. So maybe they're thinking you can use an emoji in a, that situation instead of standing up for the person that's being bullied. I'm not sure. Yeah. I mean, I can, I can see that in a way I'm, I'm watching the video, of course, it's on the screen right now. And I think that's really, it's a, it's an interesting way of basically saying, Hey, this is too much without necessarily, like, if you're talking to your bully being like, yo, this is, this is not Okay. It might just be that someone is unaware that they're being mean or being, you know, overpressive, especially in younger kids. Some people, of course, are doing it deliberately. Uh, but I think quite a few people may say things just unintentional that are unintentionally harassing or unintentionally mean. And that might be a good signal uh, to them to just be like, hey, this this is not cool. I feel uncomfortable. And if those if if that signal is not well received, it can also be a way to alert as you said, alert authorities or, or not authorities, but authoritative figures uh, or friends or friends being able to tell parents, et cetera. Something's going on and I don't feel comfortable saying specifically what's going on because either it would break trust or it's just not my place. But here is my way to say, hey, this should be looked into.